Well, that was cool, man. I was just talking to my friend up at the rock store here, and uh, he's going to be out at the track tomorrow. And I guess I haven't told you, I'm doing another track day. It's uh, tomorrow. I'm taking Monday off of work. I'm going to go out to Willow Springs, which is about like two hours up north, and I'm going to do a track day. And the only real difference between this time and last time, other than the, the track that I'm going to, is that I'm actually going to bring one of my own bikes this time. I'm going to bring the Duke 690. And the reason why I am bringing that bike rather than the RC8 is for two reasons. First reason is I feel a lot better about tying my Duke down onto my trailer than I feel about tying the RC8 down. You know, I was kind of sketching just like taking it like 20 miles, 25 miles to the dealership um, when I had to take it in for the blinkers. Um, so I certainly don't want to tow it two hours up north and then two hours back home without the proper setup. And you know, like the sport bikes, like you got to have like those cups that go like over the handlebars, you know, and they like, they tie it down that way because the bars are in such a way, it's like you can't really tie it down very easily. But I think what I'm going to do is I'll get one of those front tire chocks that uh, it's like that, that channel. And when your front tire goes into it, it flips and it like locks the front tire in and like balances the bike. I think I'm going to buy one of those and then bolt it onto my trailer. That way, uh, that way I'll be able to take the RC8 places and it won't be any big deal at all, you know, to like totally like hold it balanced and it'll be like, you know, more trustworthy. Like I won't be sketching out like when I'm on the freeway. But that'll be for next time. I'm uh, I'm not going to go ride the track on the RC8 just yet. I'm gonna take the Duke out there first. And I was just talking to one of my friends who's gonna be there tomorrow. And uh, the guy who actually got me into doing the last track day that I did. And uh, he's like, oh man, he's like, you're gonna take the Duke 690 out there? He's all, we're gonna be on the big track, dude. He's all, you're gonna run out of speed. And, and I go, you know what, honestly, that's, that's fine with me if I run out of speed. Because that way I don't, I don't want to be doing like between 150 and freaking 200 mile an hour. You know, like that's not, not my first time out. You know, I, don't, I just want to take it easy. And there's going to be demo bikes. So I will be able to ride a faster bike if I want to. You know, I will be able to ride a sport bike with like the full on racing position you know, and just get to experience that difference. So that's not a big deal. I'm not worried about missing out on that. But I just didn't want to take the RC8 out for my first time at this track and really like get up to speed, you know, like it's, it's been over half a year since I did the last track day that I did. You know, like the last track, track day that I did was at the beginning of this year. It was in February. So, I don't really, I, I just don't feel confident in my experience enough to like just go freaking flat out on that bike. And I really love that bike. <laughs> I really care about that bike. And I just feel like it'll be uh, a more stress-free uh, experience for me, not only towing the bike out there and back, but riding it as well. I think it'll be a lot better. You know, even if I'm not going fast, and I just like stay to the right and be like, oh yeah, yeah, people flying by me, you know, and just let people buy. I don't care. I I'm not there for competition. I'm just there to have fun. And it has never been a problem for me to let people pass. You know, like my pride is not an issue <laughs> when it comes to something like that. I just, I'm just out there to have fun. And if somebody's going faster than me, I just let them go by. It's like not a big deal. So it should be pretty fun. Just figured I'd tell you about that. And I will definitely be uh, showing you some video of what happens there. 
I will definitely be filming while I am out there on the track and I'll show you whatever happens whether whether it's good or bad I will show you what happens and just like I did last time show you how my day was and I will encourage you all to get out there and do a track day of your of your own because last time I, I had a blast so hopefully this time it'll be fun you know even more you know like I'll be less stressed I'll be on my own bike should be pretty cool so look forward to that and I'll be uh, I'll be posting that up as soon as I as soon as I get some of those videos edited and I will see you guys soon peace